The artist is a graduate of North Dublin High School, class of 1965, Claudette Rouse Shelton. Thank you very much. Um, it is an honor, honor to be among all of you today. And I'll just say thank you to all of you who have served our country and your ancestors before for you. And we are blessed to be in America. And I'm going to start off with a quote by my brother-in-law, uh, General Henry Hugh Shelton who says this, great nations need great reminders, reminders of what made them great in the first place and what has kept them great through the ages. Today I will read my artist statement. Yesterday I had the opportunity and it was purely my pleasure to have all of the ones who came travel with me on the journey that I went through as I painted this painting. And today I will just read the artist statement for our boys in Vietnam, from the farm fields to the battlefields. In recognition of the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War and in the memory of those who fought in that war, what an honor it has been for me to create this painting. Learning about the Vietnam War has been a life-changing experience for me. I can only imagine the impact it has had on those of you who served in the war. In creating this painting, I have grown not only as an artist, but even more as a person. Because I feel that every single soul was important, I tried to make the choices that would represent all of our boys in Vietnam. The setting for this painting is the Tay Ninh Province, Vietnam, which I chose based on a film of action by the 187th Assault Helicopter Company on December the 27th, 1969. The Tay Nam province is an area of natural beauty because of the mountains, the grasses, and the trees. In this painting, I chose the Huey helicopter because it became synonymous with, Viet with the Vietnam War, both in its sight and in its sound. For the soldiers in this painting, I chose full uniforms, although many of you wore short sleeves or no sleeves at all due to the terrible heat. I intentionally chose not to paint the horrors of war. I realized that many of you veterans, Vietnam veterans, were in different surroundings, such as, the, such as the rice paddies, the jungles, and other locations. I also realized that many veterans served in different capacities, both inside and outside.